What's up guys, Gamergen here with doing Clash Royale. Today I want to just go over some ladder pushing because I haven't posted a video in a while. So I just want to do a simple ladder pushing video with the Golem Night Witch, which is super popular, super meta. Well, I don't even know if it's meta now anymore with Executioner. I'm going to have to switch on my deck around and maybe bring out a Lightning deck or something because it's it's ridiculous how many Executioners are out there, Peckers are out there. The Golem is dead. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, there's a deck there with the uh, Fisherman. No, Golem is dead. I'm going to try to push with it anyways, but it's dead. Giant Chest, Magical Chest, both of them getting open at the end of the video. You want to stick around for that. And if you subscribe, I will open up the... Well, I'm going to bring on a video of this anyways, but it's from Tier 1 through 35. Pass Royale, number 3. We're going to go over it, how many coins I get, all the rewards. See if it's worth it. Graded from A through F. We're going to give it a grade. Let's go into ladder. Hopefully, we don't face any infernal towers. Hopefully, we don't face any executors or a Pekka, and we should win. That's it. Those are the three cards I cannot see. Every other deck, I should win. Hopefully, we don't see it. Okay, so I'm going to play defensive to start off. I don't want to play the Golem yet. Eh, I'll play the Golem now because it is a Royal Giant deck. Um, I can play the Golem back here with the Night Witch in the back. I mean,. Yeah, okay, there goes the Witch, so there goes my Night Witch, so Night Witch obviously going to be no help for me here at all, just going to get slaughtered. Okay, and I got really, really lucky that the Night Witch is somehow going to be useful for me, but there is the Fireball, and then right here, the Golem is probably going down, and the Night Witch goes down, but I am going to take a little bit of a lead with me. Right now, um, I'll have a lead of about 50, but um, I know Elixir, I'm in a decent lead right now. Okay, so I'm going to go here, activate the King Tower, drop the Tornado right there. That should activate the King Tower, and there I go. Down 200, activate the King Tower. I'm looking good. I'm going to go Night Witch, and I'm going to go with the Golem the same way I started. What this should do is just build up enough of a push that if they drop the witch, roll giant, whatever it is, I should be good to go. More than likely, a uh, witch is going to be dropped here. Wow. Are you kidding me? That was... I did not see that coming. Luckily, they played it poorly because I was able to get some nice value out of the poison and the zap. So, they're forced to use a fireball. Force use a lot of elixir and this tower is gonna be done so up one tower to zero. Thank god. Um thank god that their infernal tower wasn't in cycle of first push because I was able to do a lot of damage. I'm gonna drop a mini peck right here. They're probably gonna drop a mini peck on the right side. If they do, okay, no, they're not. Okay, even perfect. There's their mini peck back there, and if they don't play anything, this is a waste. Yeah, we're gonna go one for one there. Um, I'm going to go Tornado to bring in the Hog Rack to the middle, get damage from everybody, get taken out there, let's go Night Witch, let's go get Dragon, and then I'm going to drop this Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here, not even going to use a Zap, because in two shots, it's done, let's go with a Mega Minion a little farther back, so he needs to wait on the Fireball, but he didn't wait on the Fireball, which means my Mega Minion is going to be a nice play right now. Gonna just drop a poison right here. Gonna just start spamming, and um, that's gonna be GG. Good game. So we're able to get a win. I've been doing a couple videos before this, and we finally got a win. Thank God. Okay, so that's gonna be one and O oh for this video. Uh, hopefully, I could just play three, win three. I'll show you guys some ladder pushing. It should be pretty easy. I'm at 5800. I end every season around 63, 64. So we should be able to get these wins pretty easily. Um, again, I'm going to play defensive. See if they play something first. And once they do, I will go ahead and drop my units. If not, about 2 minutes, 30. I'll probably just drop a baby dragon. Okay, so they're going to face a giant. I wish I had my golem. I would have done the same thing I did last video. Put it right in front of the night witch. But I do not. So I'm just going to go Baby Dragon back here, okay, and I'm not scared of no Electro Dragon, so I'm just going to go ahead right here, eh, pretty good poison on their part, 
Electro Dragon. Um, is gonna survive. Wow. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now is when I'm gonna get in trouble because Prince is gonna hit me. Dude, the Prince hits for 900. That's brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, a lot of damage taken. Obviously, 2600. But I don't think they have a splash unit. Um, wow, what are they doing with the Mega Minion on the left side? Okay, they are gonna place the giant, but I think. Wow, I don't get that. How does that happen? How is that Mega Minion not the one attacked right now? It's in front of the giant. It's just, I guess, perfect placement. I'm not too worried though. My tower's gonna go down. Yes. But right here, I should be able to... Wow, how is the Mega Minion still not getting targeted? I don't understand. So I'm going to go Mega Minion right here. I'm going to rush. Let's rush uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. See if we can get anything off there. Um, zap. And um, the Prince is going to get the charge off. I'm going to have to let it. I need to get some Elixir. I can't afford to drop any right now. So right here, they're going to take on my tower, and that's going to be GG, guys. That I, I can't believe that Mega Minion is not targeted. Like, I just I don't understand the game sometimes. It's in front of the giant, then I have the baby dragon doing it. I just... That's going to cost me, obviously. But I just don't understand the way it works sometimes. Okay, so... This could be a successful push. I'm going to go poison right here. I don't know what they can drop here. Here. Obviously, I'm gonna take out this tower on the left. Now, could I do anything more in 19 seconds? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, look at that. I'm not even taking out the tower on the left anymore. Come on, come on, man. Sometimes this game, this game is so frustrating. Sometimes, you know. I felt like I played that okay, but that Mega Minion giant push was like, what the heck? How is the Mega Minion not targeted? I don't understand. We take a loss there. Hopefully, let's just finish off this video with a nice win. Anything but a Pekka, I swear. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have an attack. Okay, horrible starting hand for me. Can't really do anything. I need to wait for them to make a first play. Hopefully, they send in a Hog Rider. Okay, so they're gonna send in Bats and a Miner. Nice Miner play. Not able to tornado it. I trade elixir right now, and no, I'm actually they're up one elixir. But um, okay, so they're gonna drop um, goblin gang. So I'm gonna have to continue defending because I don't know what they have. This this could easily have an infernal dragon. In it. I mean an infernal tower. Misplayed the golem a little bit too forward. Um, Should have played it a little farther back. Um. Wow, look at this. Come on, man. I hate this deck. I really hate facing this motor deck. It's just so annoying. Oh, God. It's so annoying to face this deck. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. I'm getting slaughtered. Now the Dark Goblin is going to come in here. Slaughter me here. Tower is going to be down to 1500. No, 1282. Come on, man. Now here comes the Goblin game. Going to get slaughtered again. Now I'm gonna go Mega Minion. It's probably gonna go Motor again. Down to 11.37. Two cards that I hate. Just the Rascals is another card I hate. Oh man. Okay, so at least we can get to something decent here. That should draw out their Motor for a little bit. Maybe we can get a Night Witch to spawn some bats real quick. But. Rassel is going to come here, take out the bats. Yeah, the tower took out the bats. Come on, it's not even close. Um, Night Witch is still alive. Still trying to do work here. Let's bring everything in. Um, okay, I mean, this is this is okay. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do some damage. They have forced to use the miner. Um, I'm going to use the zap right here. Um, that ended up being a really, really good push. Wow, that was really successful. Again, nice. I'm use a poison right here. Is the dark goblin in range? No, it's not. But I'm still okay with that that poison. I still think I got decent value out of it. Um, right 
here if I can just guess right and I did awesome nice guess so they are on the run right now they're on the ropes 19 seconds to go um, they probably have a rocket which means they need some damage still but I can just play some defense which looks like I will be I will take this home five four three two down to 240 but hey got the dub good game well played I'm so happy I beat that deck because that deck is super annoying. Oof. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's open up these chests now. See what we can get. All I'm looking for is epics and legendaries. Anything else I don't want. Okay, two Electro Dragons. I'm trying to be good with Electro Dragon. It's really hard. Card kind of stinks. Okay, uh, that. A lot of Inferno Towers. So almost max there as well. 1,200 coins. Let's open up a magical chest see if we can get anything see most of my cards are already maxed i just need the you know, money for them oh four electro dragons oh we're getting a legendary that's what i'm talking about give me a lumberjack give me a lumberjack or like an electro wizard something useful miner come on i hate the miner dumb card either way that's gonna be it for our video guys thank you guys so much for watching um Subscribe for more. I'm going to be pushing 6,000 plus this season for sure, and I'm definitely going to make a video on it. So stick around for that. Let me know in the comments what kind of decks you want to see, what kind of videos you want to see, what kind of golem variations you guys want to see, and I'm going to try to put it out there for you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.